Okay, here we are in section um, 2.8, the plane geometry book, that we need to prove theorem 6, which states, if two angles of a triangle are equal, then the sides opposite of those angles are equal. Okay? So, we're given triangle ABC and that angle ABC and angle BAC are equal. And we need to prove side ABC is equal to AC. So let's draw this out. I'm going to draw this out separate than what the book has so that I can make sure that I have um, enough room for you to be able to see what I'm working on, okay? Oh, shucks. Okay, so we have triangle A, B, C. And we're given that angle A, B, C is equal to angle B, A, C. Okay, what we're trying to prove is that A, C, color this with my colored pencils. Here's line B, C. We're trying to prove that line B, C is equal to A, C. Well, what's some of the things that I've learned so far? Well, I know one that I use a lot is the corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. So if somehow I can prove that two triangles that share, uh, well, that, that are congruent, one has BC and the other has AC. If I can prove that they're congruent, then I can prove that those two sides are congruent, or equal, I mean. So... What could we do? How could we do this in such a way that we want to create two triangles? Well, I could draw a triangle that was, for example, I could draw a triangle that was this triangle and a triangle that was this way. And then look, they both have, now that's a little bit sloppy. I'm going to erase that to, to draw. But you see that this triangle has BC as its long side, and this triangle has AC as its long side. I wonder if we could draw two triangles and then prove that this one is equal to this one, and then we would have corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. So let's see what we can do that. Well, let's start, I'm gonna take this out so that I can come back to it and refer to it as need be. You can follow along in your book. I'm gonna pretty much be doing exactly what they're doing in the book, but I'm just gonna draw it out over here for you. Okay, so I've got my statements and my reasons. So, and again, you're going to have to forgive me. This is going to be a little bit messy because I'm drawing sideways. Okay, so here's my statements. Here's my reasons. Okay, statement one, I'm given triangle ABC with angle, sorry, I'm doing a horrible job drawing, BAC equals angle ABC. What's my reason? I always start with what I am given. Well, two, the next thing I want to do is just like I said, let's start trying to construct the, um, the two new triangles out of this other one. I've got to take my compass and remember the first thing, well, excuse me, the second thing we learned, I think around page 30, 32, we learned how to create an angle bisector. What you do is you take your compass and starting with B as your center, you're just going to draw two arcs on the legs of your angle. Then you're going to reduce that down. And so that your compass is um, a little over halfway between the distance between your two arcs you just drew. And so you're going to draw an arc up here. And you're going to put it on the other side and draw, oh, I barely made it long enough. Let me come back and extend that a little bit further. Okay, so then I'm going to take my ruler and through point B and that that I just drew, I'm going to draw myself an angle bisector. Okay, now to clean things up a little bit, I'm going to erase these arcs that I just drew for my construction. 
Okay. You know what? I'm going to make that. I'm going to draw it. I'm going to color it in pink. Can you see that? Okay. Now, I'm going to follow the exact same procedure that I just did over here on angle A because I need a bisector of angle A. So I'm going to do that and do that and then take my compass, come in a little bit. Um, as long as it's over halfway in between these two distances, I think I came in too much. Yeah. Then make myself an arc. And make myself an arc. There we go. And draw this angle bisector of A. Can you see that I come off the page too much? Here we go. Okay. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. And then I'm going to color this. Let's see if it'll show up orange. Yeah. So now, here's what I want you to see. Um, let me label these. Clean this up a little bit. We'll label this one D and this one E. So I've got a new triangle, which is this pink one here. I'm going to color it in pink. which is triangle B, B, D, C, and then this one, which is orange. Can you see how they overlap a section here? Now, so I've got two new triangles that I've formed, triangle A, E, C, and triangle B, D, C. Well, what I want to do is I want to be able to prove that these two are congruent. Well, I've got all kinds of tricks up my sleeve. I can do um, side, angle, side, 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 um, angle, side, angle. So let's first, um, let's draw in our reason real quick. I just realized that I had not put my, my statement on reason. So I'm going to draw A, E, and B, D um, bisecting the angles. I'm not going to draw it all out, write it all out. And statement two is because of construction two that I can accomplish this. Okay? So, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to um, go back to my drawing. Okay? And I'm going to see what I can do here. All right. Let's label our new angles that we formed so that we can refer to them. Now, sometimes the book will call this like little b and little b prime. Well, I really don't want to get into that. I think that's too difficult. So we're going to label it like the book did. This will be angle one. This will be angle two. This will be angle three. And this will be angle four. Well, I can make a statement about angle three and angle four, I know that they're equal. How do I know that they're equal? Because remember originally that angle A and angle B were equal. Well, I just cut both of them in halves. And remember, halves of equals are half. Or halves of equals are equals. Okay, so I'm going to make the statement that um, angle one and three are exactly half of angle B, and angle 2 and angle 4 are exactly half of angle A. Remember, sometimes I want to overstate stuff instead of understate it. I'd hate to make get down the line and say, uh-oh, I can't make that statement because I didn't write it down earlier. So we're going to say that angles 1 and 3 um, are equal halves of angle um, B, A, B, C, really, A, B, C. A, B, C. And that 2 and 4 are equal halves of angle uh, B, A, C. And then my, my reason I can state, state that is the definition of angle bisectors. 